So we're Allen Dan Seed Company in Winterset, Iowa. As you might know, Iowa used to be covered in prairie, but now less than one-tenth of one percent is covered by prairie. Allen Dan Seed Company is doing what they can to preserve the prairie roots of Iowa and spread them throughout the Midwest. Right now, I'm in a field of cardinal flower. Now these cardinal flowers aren't gonna be sold to the public. They're used for seeds, and then the seeds are sold to the public. So you can contact Allen Dan Seed Company to get one of over 250 different varieties of prairie grass or wildflowers. And they grow it on 4,000 acres here. That's just amazing to me. It has to be beautiful. So in the big fields of cardinal flower, hummingbirds love that. And I've been told that hummingbirds love it so much that in the big fields, you can feel the ground vibrating from all of the hummingbirds. You can hear the hummingbirds. I hope you guys get to experience that when you're here in August. One of the most famous things about Madison County is of course, it's bridges. Now there were 19 bridges built to start, only six remain. Of those six, a lot of them were built by Harvey Jones and George Foster. Now, this one didn't show up in the movies, but this is called the Hogback Bridge, and it's named after the curve of a hog's back in the valley here. Uh, most of the bridges, though, were named after area farmers. So why are the bridges covered? Well, it's to protect against wood decay, wood rot, uh, there wasn't treated lumber back then, so this was the best they could do. And there's sides on the bridge so that when horses go across, they didn't get skittish, throw their riders, or just refuse to go across at all. And back then, they didn't really have the option of automobiles. So we're inside the Hogback Bridge now, and as you can see on, on the sides, these are called town trusses. This is what keeps the bridge up, stable, and uh, can span the 100 feet that it does. And if you look below you, these are the original timbers. And this was used by cars all the way up until the mid 1990s. And it was built in 1884. I think you're gonna enjoy this trip on the tour. If nothing else, it's gonna be a great picture opportunity. We're here at the Covered Bridge Winery in Winterset, Iowa. This was established in 2004 and really started uh, producing wine in 2008. They utilized Iowa State University to help them develop their wines. And uh, I'm gonna tell you different uh, varietals they have. They have an Edelweiss, a Brianna, Marquette, St. Croix, Frontenac, Geneva Red, Frontenac Blanc, La Crosse, and La Crescent. Um, some of these have even won at the Iowa State Fair competition. Uh, if you look behind you, hopefully you can see all the different bottles with all of the, all of the different awards. Uh, this is one of the premier wineries in Iowa, and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy coming here. Um, it, it's gonna taste great. We're here at the AgriVision Equipment Group in Winterset, Iowa. They sell John Deere stuff. I don't know if you could tell. Uh, the ones behind me, not for sale, but we're gonna take you outside in a minute and show you what is for sale. AgriVision has 17 dealerships throughout Southern Iowa. To say that they sell a large amount of equipment is putting it mildly. Uh, if you look behind you, there's the John Deere 120R. That, that's, that's my personal favorite. That's my retirement tractor. So my dream tractor in there, these guys are a little bit different. Uh, that's a couple grand inside. This is a several million dollars worth of tractors out here. Uh, just think about how many they have at 17 different locations. What an amazing dealership. And this is the type of stuff you see all across Iowa. I think you guys are really gonna like what you see here. I think you're gonna learn a lot and hopefully they have an autonomous tractor when you come here because that's gonna be pretty cool.